The Rensselaer community is still coming to terms with the announcement that St. Joseph's College will be closing its doors in May. News 18's Kira Lake joins us now to talk about their reaction. Hey, Kira. The community members I spoke with say this will have a major impact on businesses in the area, but there has been some good news for students who were blindsided this week. Purdue University President Mitch Daniels is offering help, a helping hand to help those who wish to transfer. It's devastating to the community. I mean, it's, uh, it's like losing part of your family. Scott Malone grew up in Rensselaer and never would imagine St. Joseph College would close. It's been a major part of his life. Friends I grew up with, people I've known that would not have been in the community without St. Joseph College, uh, they've brought a lot of assets that are really overlooked. News 18 spoke to city office and pub bar manager Chastity Fegley before the news of St. Joe's closing. Then Fegley said she would hate to see something like this happen. Now she is shocked to know this is a reality. It's going to, you know, have an impact on a lot of places. Us here, for one, we, you know, we got business when they had big weekends out of the college. She says in this small community, the closure will have an impact on everybody. Heard it's temporary, what that means. I'm not sure, but I hope, you know, there's still time. Maybe something can do a complete turnaround. On Friday, Purdue University President Mitch Daniels offered help to students who would like to transfer to Purdue. Sophomore Zach Bobitz said he would consider transferring to the university. I'm sitting there thinking I got my all my plans written out and just closes out of nowhere on us. So I guess now we just got to roll with the punches and go. Sophomore Nelson Brockwell says his school closing is a real problem but appreciates the help from Purdue. I think it's awesome that they're trying to help us, you know, because it is like a real problem. Like, to, like, feel like, like even to the whole town, like this is a this is not good. So. For them to come and, you know, help give like a helping hand is pretty awesome. Malone says as life changes for everyone, the community and students will adapt well. It's going to be different and it's going to be uh, probably a hard thing for them to do, but I have no doubt that they'll thrive wherever they end up and, and so will St. Joe in the long term. It's Faculty and students with questions will have the opportunity to ask come Monday. A faculty meeting is scheduled for 3 p.m. and a student meeting will be held later that day at 9. Kiera Lake, News 18.